Yeah, so order is, it kind of just describes like what people want from love. So like not just all the good sides of love, the bad sides as well. Like to be able to have challenges and get through them with your partner and to hold on to like the passion that you had from the beginning and the spark and keep, like, keep that as you get older. That's kind of what the, the song is about. Yeah, so about two weeks ago, 2FM contacted me um, and this was before um, Older was being released. It was just um, when I had put up the cover of me playing it on piano and then they said we'd love to do an interview with you and stuff. And obviously like that's such a big deal. I couldn't believe it. Like prior to this, I'd done one interview with KFM, but other than that, like this was a big deal. So um, obviously really, really excited, but really nervous at the same time. But it got such a good reaction and that was even before like it was even being released. So to hear it actually being playing on the radio. Obviously I've been listening to it for like a while now, like, but it's so different hearing it on the radio. It's mm -hmm. it's just quite surreal, especially like the whole intro and that it's saying that it's my song. And yeah, it's just surreal, but it was like the best buzz ever. I'll never be able to uh, get over the first time I heard it on the radio. It was really, really, really good. Um, I'd never properly recorded a song before, especially in a studio and had it produced professionally. Like I definitely have learned a lot from the process and um, so much more kind of goes into like, especially the behind the scenes of getting it released than I ever would have thought. So, um, but yeah, like I loved every minute of it. I loved learning as I went on and especially the recording in the studio probably was my favorite part, like being able to record it professionally. Um, yeah, it was really, really cool. Yeah, so TikTok's been everything. Like, I think it's one of the main reasons why I'm here today um, after just releasing my debut single. So um, obviously during quarantine, I started posting on TikTok and Instagram and sure, people have nothing else to do. We all spend a lot of time on TikTok um, just scrolling. So I definitely started getting a lot of views and followers quite quickly um, from that and a lot of positive comments as well, which kind of gave me the courage to keep posting and to keep going. And I just ended up getting a really, really good reaction. And um, my management, um, Brian Whitehead and his team actually found me through TikTok as well. Um, and now I'm after releasing my debut single last week. So yeah, it's been everything really. Um, it's really, really helped me in my career. And I would just encourage anyone to put themselves out there on it and um, cause it's such a good platform. Yeah, I, from a really young age, have been involved in like stage schools and did like little talent shows here and there. Um, I always loved the kind of singing side um, the most. And then when I went into secondary school, then I just continued doing musicals. I studied music for my leave insert. Um, I just always had a passion for it. And then obviously I went to college. I joined Young Music Soccer, literally the first day of college in first year. I wanted to be straight in there. That was like something that I really wanted to do. And from then, um, you know, we used to do small gigs in stables, like on a Monday night, do open mic night. And in first year, I joined a band as well, and we played in stables outside. So I've always just been really into it and wanted, just wanted it to be like one of a major, like a major thing in my life. So I suppose being a female in the music industry, I look up to the likes of Dua Lipa, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, like just how successful they are in the industry is just what really inspires me to keep going and I'd love one day to like be at their level. Um, but then again, like closer to home would be say the likes of Picture Bass and Dermot Kennedy um, just because they've come from Ireland and um, done so well internationally as well that um, I've really just followed their journey for the last few years and yeah, they're so successful now. So they'd be my biggest influences, I suppose, at the moment. So um, I was originally studying business in college, but doing music on the side all the time. Um, over lockdown then, it's when I really, really got into it and decided to make a music page and put myself out there online because I hadn't done that before. Um, so it was kind of only then that I, well, I always wanted to do, but it was only then that I realized that people actually liked what I was doing and had an interest in it. And I suppose getting all that feedback is what kind of really motiv motivated me to keep going and to properly release a song. So I'd say 
lockdown and, and quarantine is what has really gotten me to where I am today because I just had so much time to focus on exactly what I wanted to do. Um, obviously like releasing my first song today is definitely like a big milestone, it's something that I always wanted to do but it's the start of what I like of my goals and stuff so um, I don't know, I don't know if I'll ever be at a stage where I'm like this is me done, I think I'll always want to progress and do more but it's especially like the biggest thing would be being able to play live, obviously with the current situation it's not possible at the moment but that's my next goal to be able to properly play live in front of um, a crowd would be like my my biggest goal at the moment. Um, I suppose it's just con like the biggest thing for me was confidence. Like the first time I ever posted a video, I was so nervous. Um, but I just think you need to do it once. As soon as you do it once, it's fine. And um, you kind of every time you post something then it, it's not as hard and you have more confidence in yourself so I think just bite the bullet go for it don't be worried about what other people think and um, yeah just take the plunge and do it that's what I'd say yeah definitely um, definitely some stuff in the pipelines but um, that'll probably be more early next year Yeah, so my Instagram handle is at I am Leah Hart. Um, so you can find me on Instagram and TikTok under that username as well. And um, Older is now streaming on all platforms as well. Um, so yeah. <laughs> you have music suck all the way. <laughs> <laughs>